I went over the transform effect in Premiere on the last upload, but today I want to show you a real client example on how I use it to make what seems like one continuous robot shot. Let's see if you can spot the cut in these four examples. Now this is not perfect, I know, but I don't have one of those fancy robot arms or 50,000 quid to get one just yet. So what do we do if we can't afford that sort of luxury? Well, we can try and fake it with a few shots from different distances, the transform effect inside Premiere, and a handful of keyframes. If I play back the footage frame by frame, you can see the slight change in lighting, and that is where the cut takes place. But by using the transform effect with the shutter angle dialed in, the cut starts to get hidden as the motion blur is applied. For a more detailed tutorial on using the transform effect, watch the previous video which I'll link above. I'm keen to keep this one short and snappy so I'm just gonna dive on into the completed Premiere file. So let's look at this example. All we're using is a tight angled shot, a wide shot, and a closer crop. These three shots will allow us to make our fake robot arm move. Here we are inside a Premiere, so let's have a little scrub through the parts in question. Sorry if you edit in a different application, but hopefully you can still get something out of this. So let's look at this tight angled shot to wide within this nest. You can see when the lighting changes, that is where our clips cut together with the transform effect motion blurring the obvious change. All we have done is scale, rotate, and position the wide shot to match up with the tight angled one, and then keyframe this wide clip to get its original positioning over the time it takes for one bottle rotation. Next, it's getting from the wide shot to the closer crop, and this is simply done in the same way as before by adding keyframes within the transform effect for the scale and position on the wide shot to match the close crop Make these keyframes close together to get more motion blur, which again will hide any obvious cut. You can get quite creative by learning this tip, and soon you'll be experimenting with different punch-in effects from two shots. Or even faking a program robot move with rotation and scaling. Of course, if any companies want to send me the latest and greatest robot arms, I am more than happy to accept. But for now, keyframes within the transform effect is a free way for you to experiment with on your next product commercials. Remember to check out the previous video for a more detailed breakdown on using the transform effect. And if you found this video interesting, then the video on screen now will show you how you can use this effect for a totally different use. It's an oldie, but still a good tutorial, and I know it'll help a lot of you out. Like this video, subscribe if you want, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, and thank you to the companies that are giving me all this work. Hurrah.